Hello and welcome to the Elfic video demonstration for the SidePath MTPX uh, technology. Today we will be demonstrating the resilience factor of SidePath. The goal of SidePath when used with multiple uh, sites is to keep point-to-point -point applications running regardless of link failures. So should an ISP or a private WAN link decide to no longer function uh, as advertised, the IPsec tunnel, the voice over IP tunnel, whatever the point-to-point -point relationship may be, will be continued and will not be interrupted. So the diagram here illustrates the uh, setup that we've got between two sites. Both sites have an Elfic unit and have two ISP links uh, connected to. So we have four potential paths to uh, transfer data. Now, beyond the resiliency, there's another benefit for uh, site path and its increased throughput because we've got the ability to use the fastest link, or as of Elfic uh, Operating System 3.3, we'll be using uh, bandwidth virtualization, which means we're going to be able to aggregate links into a fat virtual bonded link to make sure that we can use all the available throughput, so we can virtualize uh, bandwidth. Now, what we're going to demonstrate today, in all effect, is really this. We're going to we're going to kill links as uh, as we go along. So, I'm going to show the classical ping request, just to show that we have traffic flowing back between the two sites and uh, we've got traffic, it's flowing, site A is responding to site B, the two laptops are talking, exchanging data. So the first thing I'm going to do, which is normally very scary in a production environment, is this. We just kill an ISP link. This is fun. So I've got this link, it's not there anymore, we had a timeout and boom, it continues. So ultimately the two firewalls that are initiating the VPN IPsec tunnel here are completely unaware of what happened so it just continued on. Now I've got my friends here and this is not recommended at work unless you feel like gambling your future to some extent but this is fun. We're gonna literally cut a link and it's dead. It's, it cannot get deader than this. We had one timeout as you can see here on the video and it continues. So we just killed two ISP links. Not only have a one-on-one -on -one relationship like any other typical point-to-point -point applications, but we just killed two ISP links in this VPN IPsec tunnel and it continues purring. It's very much that simple. So we can keep point-to-point -point applications. So branch office, head office type relationships continue and from that angle we simply uh, we simply uh, continue the, uh, the whole uh, IPsec tunnel accordingly and we can simply repair, <laughs> repair the, uh, the deceased link and get it back in we just fixed the link your ISP just came back alive and this is the victim here. Uh, everything is continuing accordingly. In fact, for those who've got really good eyes, we can see that we got faster throughput right now on the uh, on the balancer. Also, here's another cool thing. We're gonna demonstrate the land failsafe technology at the same time, where land failsafe uh, will continue the whole relationship if, even if it turns down. So we've got an LFIG that's actually physically out of power and the only one here that is still operating we've got a request timeout on the relationship between the two tunnels the second one and it's back alive so right now we've killed links we've killed elfic units and it's still working so for any questions any uh any information or uh, feel free to go to your local hardware store to try this and your production environment Feel free to just give us a call at 888-GO-ELFIC or visit us at www.elfic.com. That's www.elfic.com. Thank you very much.